Got a story on social media that's got everybody talking. It comes out of Atlanta. Shout out to Amaretta the Great. She already broke down what's Atlanta and what's not Atlanta. And one way to know if you're in Atlanta is if you call the police and they show up in a vehicle like this. It says Atlanta police on the outside. Well, the Atlanta Police Department right now, they are defending one of their officers after the department came under fire on social media. Take a second to make sure that you're subscribed to the channel. Click that notification bell for all updates. And if you're watching from Atlanta, drop ATL in the comments. I definitely want to hear from you. All right, so this whole situation, it was brought to everyone's attention by this woman right here, saying her sister was arrested by the Atlanta Police Department. She wrote this on social media. She said, please watch. I can't believe this happened to my sister. To give context, my sister has never been in any type of unlawful situation and simply out of fear and lack of information, she had questions about signing her citation. Last night, Angel Geis and her friend were hanging out at a park unknowingly at the hours. Officer Brooks pulled up asked for IDs, and proceeded to give each of them a citation to sign. Angel simply wanted to know exactly what she was signing and asked for the officer's name and badge number. At some point, he became irritated by her questions. He then abused his power by using excessive force. He threw her to the ground and pulled out his taser. Where's the respect as a citizen? Are we not allowed to ask questions about our rights without ego taking over? Why was a taser pulled out? Why was she frisked by a male officer? Aren't police here to protect and serve? What kind of training is this? Aggressive officers like this have to be stopped. This is Atlanta Police Department, please share. She tagged a bunch of people, Tamika Mallory, Attorney Crump, NAACP, The Shade Room, Hollywood Unlocked. The Shade Room ended up picking up the video and showed this to their audience. No, I'm not here to play guys. I know, but I'm going to sign. Put your hands behind your back. Mr. Brooks, I'm going not, to sign. Put your hands behind your back. Sir, you don't have to. You don't have to. Resistance. You do not I'm, have I'm to. I'm asking you, why am I putting my hands behind my back? I'm going, you're under arrest. I'm going to sign the ticket, but why am I under arrest? <laughs> Sir, I'm she's about to sign the ticket. I'm going to sign She's the about ticket. to sign the ticket. That's all you wanted to do is sign a ticket. That's all it is. I'm going to sign the ticket. That's all she just signed the ticket. You told me you're not. I'm, she's about, I'm going to sign the ticket, ticket, ticket now. Mr. Brooks, I'm going you to sign the ticket. You don't have that option now. Why don't I have the option, because Mr. Brooks? I gave you two options. She was just asking for Mr. your badge Brooks, number I'm at first. I'm asking for your badge number, and I wasn't clear on why you weren't giving me your badge number. Sir, you don't have to. Sir, you do not have to tell her like that. Oh, my God. Sir, you do not have to drag her like that. I'm asking, I'm telling you that I'm going sir, to sign Sir, sir, you do not have to grab her like that. I'm going to sign the ticket, Mr. Brooks. I'm going to sign the ticket. Why am I being arrested? Can you please tell me why I'm being arrested? Sir. Oh my God. I'm so scared. My God, please, in the name of Jesus, please, God, in the name. Why am I being arrested, Mr. Brooks? I'm going to sign the ticket. Mr. Brooks, why am I being arrested? Why am I being arrested? I don't understand why I'm being arrested. Can you please tell me why I'm being arrested? Turn around and put your hands behind sir, your back. Tell me why not... I'm being arrested. Right, I, have be right. I have the right. Do not tase her. Sir, do not tase her. Oh my God. Put your hands behind your back. Do not tase her. Do not tase her. Do not tase her. Do not tase her. What are you tasing her for? I don't tase her. Why are you pulling it out? Put your hands this behind your back. This is not complying. Put your what hands you behind doing? your back. That video right there really got people on social media fired up. A bunch of blue check marks came to the woman's defense, like pop star Jordan Sparks. She said, OMFG, I am so sorry, this is horrible. And why is his face covered? Masika says, absolutely disgusting, shaking my head. I swear these cops have the most fragile egos of the male species. Once that pride was bruised, he became a straight coon, shaking my head. And then Miss Boss Chick, British Williams, she said, dumb A cop, fire his A. And I don't know if you guys remember British Williams. I covered her story late last year when she was indicted by the feds for fraud. Like British, why are you on social media anyway? You know the feds still watching you. If you missed that video, you wanna check that one out after you're done watching this one. But yeah, a lot of people very upset with this video. So you have the Atlanta Police Department. They put out a full version of the video. It's about an hour long almost take a look can you come here ma'am all right so you're gonna receive a ticket for being in the park after hours all right just need to sign right here on the X. but because we're out of didn't you say we were out of time so we wouldn't have known that yeah but that's that's not a valid reason why you should be in the park because you're from out of time and what's your bag number seven four five two Name? Officer Brooks. What's your first name? I'm not. I'm not gonna give you my first name. Okay. And I don't have to sign this, right? You do have to sign it. 
Yeah. No, I don't. Okay. Well, like I explained to him, if you don't sign it, then you're mm -hmm. going to be physically taken to jail. Gotcha. So you refusing to sign? What's your name? Officer Brooks, 7452. Put your hands behind your back for me. Hey, listen, my man. She says she's not signing. It. Put your hands behind your back. Sir, ma'am, you're hurting me. Okay, I'm asking you to put your hands behind your back. Um, sir, put your hands behind your back. Sir, put your hand behind your back. Come on, come on. I need you to back up. I'm just saying that. Like, I need you to back up. You don't need to touch her like that. She, she's not putting her hands behind her back. I'm asking. I'm asking she a question. Asking the okay. I'm, I'm just all I'm doing is asking. Put your hands behind your back. Put your hands behind you. Brooks. You're under arrest. Put your hands behind your back. I asked you to sign the ticket. You told me you're not signing. I, but, sir, put your hands I, behind I'm your asking back. you a question. Okay. I'm letting you know. I'm not going to ask you again. I'm going to forcefully put your hands behind your back. But, sir, Mr. Brooks, is this really necessary? Mr. Brooks. Hold on, hold on, hold on. So when the shade room updated the story and posted what happened in the beginning, there was definitely an immediate shift. Mastika, she came back, you know, before she called a police officer a coon. And this time she said, well, dang, he warned her. She should have just signed the ticket and disputed it in court. He wasn't wrong, but I still think he used excessive force. And then you have another comment here. This is why waiting for the full video is important. The cop was just trying to do his job and he explained the consequences of not simply signing the citation. And here's another comment. Definitely doing the most, shaking my head. So basically within like 24 hours, it went from everybody supporting her to almost nobody supporting her. Just like that, even Masika had to change her mind. Although she did maintain that she thought it was excessive force. The woman in the video, her name is Angel Geis. She describes herself as an actress, director, and producer based out of LA. Angel, who's never been in any trouble with the law, she says she was unaware of the rule about being in the park at the dark because she's not from Atlanta. She was visiting. And now she's suing the Atlanta Police Department. Angel Geis is now suing the police department, alleging excessive use of force. What started with a citation for being in a park after dark, police said Geis refused to sign the citation. Her lawyer said otherwise. Here, my client, Ms. Geis, never refused to sign. She simply asked for additional information. And the officer was very short and quickly escal escalated to use force. But in body camera footage just released, you can hear the exchange. Are you going to sign it? No, because I want your badge number. We heard the officer offer his badge number and name twice. A department spokesperson told me there was no violation by the officer, adding in a statement, quote, several unnecessary decisions that were entirely out of our control resulted in a physical altercation with an officer and the physical arrest of this female. Angel's lawyer said she's experiencing a severe emotional and mental toll. Trauma, he said, that could have been avoided. His feelings were hurt. And as a result of his feelings being hurt and him feeling disrespected, he decided to violate Ms. Geis' rights. We don't want officers with that kind of dis disposition. And according to Atlanta police policy, refusing to sign a citation, that is enough cause for an officer to arrest you. Now, Atlanta police, they tell me that they are investigating this incident. In the meantime, I checked the officer. His role on the force has not changed. So here's that press release from the Atlanta Police Department. They have these new rules to address a lot of crime that's going on in the area. This was a city ordinance violation where the police officers, they are authorized to issue a copy of charges and then allow the person to leave once they sign the ticket. They said signing the ticket is not an admission of guilt, but it's an acknowledgement of receipt of the citation. That's also for traffic violations as well. In this case, they said while issuing the citations, the officer explained to the male that he will be taken to jail if he refused to sign the citation and the male chose to sign the citation. The female was given the same information and refused to sign the citation. Looks like Angel really escalated this. Like sign the ticket and go back home. You don't hold court in the street with the police. You have to go before the judge and you can fight your case there. And then she did something that could have caused her to lose her life. She told the officer to hold on and went back to her car. Angel, you better be glad that was a black officer who didn't see you as harmful. Another officer could have thought that you was going back to the car to get a weapon and then pulled out his weapon and we all know how that would have ended. That was just a big no-no. You don't make quick moves and you never run back to the car like that. 
The man that was with Angel, he had no problem with following the rule. But you know women can't stand to be reprimanded. And a black woman being told what to do by a black man, she was like, nah, what's your badge number? As if she couldn't figure out all that through her ticket. Where she went wrong was trying to sit up there and argue with the cop like he's her boyfriend. Modern women are used to being out of order, arguing with people, getting out of control with them. But the police is not about to play with you. They have to maintain order. And you know, I understand that Angel, she didn't know about the rule. But that's just like going to Russia and not knowing about their drug laws. That's not a defense saying that you didn't know the rule existed. The rule was broken. Now, if you had gone to a judge, maybe they would have been more lenient and gave you a lesser fine. But it still had to be established that the rule was broken. So yeah, Angel, she really put herself and the man in danger when she really just needed to sign that ticket and move along. Let's go ahead and get the conversation started. The Atlanta police admitted that the officer used force, but they said it wasn't excessive and he didn't break any rules. Do you agree or do you think the police officer is wrong and he should be fired? Shout out to our brothers Dark Power and Bernard J. I appreciate you all for your support. Want to see more content like this? You can support the channel too. Links to Cash App and PayPal are below. Ladies, fellas, want a balance analysis? Want the truth from a woman's perspective? Then you're going to want to subscribe to this channel and don't forget to like and share.